Hi, today I'll show you how to properly download and set up downloader app on your Fire TV stick. The main reason why people download and use downloader app is to sideload applications to a Fire Stick or in other words, to jailbreak a Fire Stick. So the process is pretty easy, but still you might need this tutorial to set it up properly. And also a small mention before we actually start the guide, in the description of this video you'll find some affiliate marketing links which will lead you to some great offers such as Amazon Prime for free, Audible for free, Amazon Music for free, and other ones. If you use any of those links, you get a great deal, I get my small affiliate commission, it doesn't cost you anything extra, and we are both happy. Now back to the video. If you still don't have the downloader on your Fire TV stick, then the first thing we actually gotta do is download it from official Amazon App Store. To do so, we go to search and start typing downloader here. As you can see, it was enough to type D and O, so the loader popped out here at the bottom. But if it didn't in your case, then you just type in the whole name of the application to the search and it's going to appear. So press on the downloader, here it is, click once again, press on that little download button. And boom, we have downloaded the downloader app. Uh, it was installed when you open it for the first time it's going to ask for access to media and files and yes it is necessary if you want to sideload other applications press on allow press on ok here and here's the search bar which you can use to find other applications online however that's not it there are still some settings we need to tweak and enable for the loader to work properly on your file stick so we gotta go to settings, there are two ways, either press on that gear icon in the right side or hold your home button. Then go to My Fire TV and here you'll need to enter those developer options. Also, some Fire Stick users have them by default, however, there are also some Fire Sticks where developer options are hidden by default. So if you go to settings to My Fire TV and do not see the developer options, don't worry, it's easy to make them appear. We firstly go to about then, select Fire TV Stick, click on the middle button on your Fire TV uh, remote for seven times and do it quick. Let's do it. As you can see at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer in my case. In your case it will say that you have become a developer now and if you just go back a bit you will finally see the developer options. They are going to appear right here in that menu, press on them. Make sure to enable the ADB debugging, then we go to install unknown apps and make sure to enable that option for the loader. Without that option, the downloader app won't be able to install anything from the internet because it's going to be blocked. And after that you can go to the loader and start using it. However, I also uh, prefer to use my VPN on when downloading stuff from the internet. I personally use NordVPN because it's really easy to use and really fast. You just select any server, let's say Germany, click on it, it starts connecting. So what a VPN does, it decrypts all the data that you send through the internet. Your internet provider won't be able to see anything that you do online because you will encrypt your data. It also helps with accessing shows in other countries which are not available in your country by default or to download some apps that are also not available in my region. So if you don't want anyone to snoop on you, just use a VPN. I will leave a promo link in a pinned comment of this video. If you use my link, you'll get one month of service totally for free, which is a way better deal compared to their standard offer. And in that case, I would also get a small affiliate commission. Yep, I want to be completely transparent with you guys. But oh no, NordVPN is a great service. I really recommend it. After that, we just go back to the loader. We are connected to a VPN and here. In that search bar, you can either use a code if you have some. There are loads of codes for different apps, different websites, or just type anything that you're looking for. For example, let's say you're looking for a Firefox browser. You just type Firefox APK, press and go. A browser with uh, different results is going to open. And you can just browse through those websites and get your Firefox or any other application that you are looking for. Also, I'll now go and create a great video with hidden or secret Fire Stick codes, which you can use in the Loader app. I will release it today or maybe tomorrow and put it on this video as an end screen. So you better click on it, watch it and know all the secret codes for your Fire TV Stick. 